Hello friends welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial, today we will be going to create this. So open After Effects, and create a new composition, I'm calling it Fire Logo Reveal, set width 1920 and height 1080, and choose duration 10 seconds long, and hit OK. Select the text tool, and type what you want. I'm using the Covered Ops font, the font size to 412 pixels, now align the text into the center, now import the texture to the timeline, set it below to text layer, and increase the size of texture, to fit the composition. Now select the texture layer, right click on it and choose pre-compose, rename it to texture comp, and choose to move all attributes into the new composition. Now of the texture layer, set track mat to alpha mat fire. Now go in effects and presets, and search for curves. Add it to the texture layer, and adjust the curves as shown. Now create a new solid layer. I'm calling it Saber. Now go in effects and presets and search for Saber, it is a free plugin from Video Copilot, download link in description. Now adjust the settings in Saber, go in customize core, set core type to the text layer, set text layer to fire, and change source to effects and masks, choose presets fire, set core size 2.5, now go in flicker, Set flicker intensity to 10%. Now go in glow settings, set glow intensity to 62, and glow second size to 45. Now go in distortion, in core distortion, set distortion amount 12. Now in customize core, set halo size to 400%. Now it's time to animate the text, now go to the start of the timeline, create a keyframe on start offset, and set start offset to 100%, now go on 6 seconds, and set start offset 0%. Now select the saber layer, and press U to open all keyframes, select all the keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease the keyframes, now go in the graph editor, and change the graph as shown. Now go in render settings, and change composition settings to transparent. I thought the glow is very much, so change the halo size to 150%, now go at start of the timeline, go in effects and presets, search for fade up characters, and add it to the text layer. Now press U to open keyframe, and set the last keyframe on 5 seconds. Now easy ease those keyframes, and change the graph as shown. Now select the saber layer, and duplicate it. Rename it to Saber Inside, on the second layer. In Render Setting, set Alpha Type to Enable Masks. Now solo the layer for watching what going inside this. Now in Core Distortion, set Noise Scale to 150. Now set Distortion Amount 25. Now select the Saber Inside layer and press U to open all keyframes, and move the keyframes as few frames, to create randomness in the animation, 
and don't forget to unsolo the layer. Now go in effects and presets, search for color emboss, and apply to the texture layer. Now import the smoke overlay to the timeline. Change the blend mode to screen. Select the smoke layer, right click on it, and go in time and choose enable time remapping, it will create this keyframe. Now stretch the layer to end of the timeline, and bring the last keyframe also. Now set the smoke layer to below of all layers. Now go in effects and presets, and search for tint, and apply to the smoke layer. Now change the map white color to the fire color. Now press S to open scale, and change the scale to 150%. Now import the particles layer to the timeline, and press S to open scale and change scale to 60%, and change the blend mode to add. Now set the footage on the text layer. Now select the pen tool, make sure you select the particles layer, now draw the mask randomly. Now select the particle layer, and press F for feather, and change the feather amount to 220 pixels. Now go in effects and presets and search for curves. Apply it to the particles layer, and adjust the curves as shown. Now select the texture and both saber layers and text layers, and pre-compose it, rename it to animation. Now duplicate the animation layer, and rename the layer to animation reflection floor. Now make the reflection floor layer to 3D, press R for rotation, set X rotation amount 100%, and drag the layer as shown. Now go in effects and presets, search for compound blur, and add it to the reflection layer, now create a new solid layer and rename it to the floor and bring it to the bottom of all layers and add fractal noise to the floor layer in fractal noise set brightness to minus 30 as well as contrast 150 now hide the floor layer, because we don't need to see it. Now select the animation reflection floor layer in compound blur, set the blur layer to the floor, and set the source to effect and masks, and set maximum blur amount to 250. Now create a new solid layer, and rename it to background and hit OK, and set it below to all layers, Go in effects and presets, and search for the gradient ramp, and apply it to the background layer. Set the end color to orange color. And adjust the end point. This time create a new adjustment layer, and rename it to the lens. Now go in effects and presets, search for CC lens, and add it to the adjustment layer. Now move the playhead on the first frame, and create a keyframe on size, and set the size to 120. Now go on 3 seconds and set the size to 500 perfect now create a new solid layer rename it to film bars and set the black color to it 
Now select the rectangle tool, make sure you select the frame layer, and double click on the rectangle tool. Now double click on the mask path, hold Ctrl and Shift, and drag, it looking much better. Now set mask 1 to subtract. And now we are done, thanks for watching this tutorial, I will see you in the next one.